What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know there has been a big lack in content lately, but I am going to be making up for all that lack of content with a lot of content. Okay, so what I will be showing you today is my corn crib project. I got a corn crib to put all my corn in this year. And I am working on the pad right now. We have that huge dirt pile in our driveway, so I put a whole bunch of dirt down under my pallet, which the dirt then settled big time, so I gotta do a little bit of fixing to that. Right here, I have to add another row of pallets and screw them to those pallets so it's wide enough for the crib. It's not quite wide enough, I don't think, because it's a really big crib. So I gotta make, I gotta have it come out to about this stake right here I put in the ground because this crib is a 16 by 16. That's what the dimensions of the crib is, so it'll all go on this pad. All I have done so far is I put dirt down and pallet. I screwed them all together, so all the pallets are screwed together, so it's getting pretty stiff so far. It's been together for a few days like this now, and it's not bad. And then I got big pieces of big boards that I'll put on top of this and screw them all down that way. So, I think this idea will work. It's just, I gotta put a little bit more dirt under this right here. It's a serious low spot, which it used to be level. I had this thing pretty level at one time. Spent a lot of time putting dirt down. But, then we got a lot of rain on it, and it settled out quite a bit. So, I gotta reinforce right there. Put a little bit more around the edges there. And then a little bit more dirt right here on this edge. And I got one, two, three, four more pallets to put down and screw them on. And then I am ready to put the boards on top. And then I can start actually building the crib. So that will be really cool. I need to get this done soon because before long I'll be picking my corn. I already opened the field up because we've been picking for about a month now high moisture corn just to grind it and feed it little by little. But it's getting dry enough that I will be able to crib it before too long here. So I'll go show you guys my crib now. This is the corn crib I will be putting up on my pad. So what I do is these are all sections of it and this makes a circle and it's two sections high. So two of these tall so it'll be pretty big size because it's big around it it's not real tall but it's quite wide around so that'll be good this is the tunnel this goes in the bottom and one that one goes straight up like this and that just lets air get to it so the corn doesn't rot so they should go together pretty easy the hardest part of this is building that pad but I think if I build it right, it should work good. Yep. Right here is a roof. It's supposed to be a corn crib roof. I don't know how this goes together exactly. But. I should be able to figure it out. It looks like they all screw together in a circle onto like these because that's the ladder side and I think those are the like hatch at the top there's actually two roofs here because my uncle got a the other corn crib from the place we got them from so there's actually two roofs here so gotta figure out how in the world to put these together but I think once we start screwing them together it should kind of 
form the form the cone shape as we go. So I'm gonna get back to building the floor now. After putting these cement blocks under there, it brought the whole pad through the low spot up a lot. Now when I walk on it, everything is pretty much level. So I put one right there, one right there, and another one down right there. So that'll bring that up a lot. I need to put more dirt along the edges of the crib to bring the edges up a lot. And then I got a whole bunch of cinder blocks I'm also going to put around under the edge to help support the edge. Because that's where a lot of the crib will be, is right around the edge. Then the corn will go in the middle. So, putting those blocks in helped a lot, so that should help support the middle. Okay, here's the cinder blocks I need to load up and haul over to, crib, to the crib. But the gator is full of grain for the cows. So I think I'll just use the razor and hook it up to the trailer and haul them over. So let's do that. Gotta go unload this wood upstairs in the barn, and then I can go get my cinder box. Presto, we're good to roll. I found something that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna get all these cinder blocks loaded onto the trailer, and I'll haul them over to the crib. So, after loading most of the cinder blocks, I ended up having to take some off because I ended up with a flat tire. So, I drug the air compressor out here. Now, I gotta blow it up. There we go, air's on. A little bit more. We'll go with her. Turn the air off. See how long that goes before it goes flat again. Now I'll load a few more of those back on and I'll take them off and come back for one more trip. Okay, I made it back over by the pad for the crib. I'm going to get these unloaded and head back for the rest of them. Alright everybody, I got all my cinder blocks hauled over here. And now, what I'm doing is, I'm putting cinder blocks under each corner of the pallet right there. All the way around it. And I'm going to fill in dirt in between them. That's going to help stiffen this up a lot and help it was when it settles and stuff. So this is going to be a big help. So yeah, this is what we got going so far and I'm pretty sure it'll work good. 